Hey guys, it's Lucille. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you four ways you can style the really cute five star bunny whisper set that you can get in the Garden Cutie Lighties in Life Makeover. Now, this is one of the five star sets that you have a chance of getting if you pull for this Lighties. And I got this in 140 pulls. This is how it looks like originally, and I think it's super cute, especially the bunny in the bucket. And I have had so much fun just playing around with the colors and mixing it up with the other items so today i'm gonna show you that but before we begin let us look at what i'm wearing today because i love it so much i really wanted to do something animal themed because of the recent light chases and <laughs> i was just inspired by this hat this hat is actually from the decom store in the wonder box that was released in singaporean and malaysian servers yeah so i dyed this hat in shades of brown and white the original color was like this with a bit of yellow yeah so i dyed that and then i wore this four star milk cone set so the skirt, socks, and the shoes are part of that set but for the top, I took it from somewhere else and then I paired it with this really cute bear necklace that you can get also from the Garden Cutie Lighties and then also this handbag is from the Garden Cutie Lighties these are both loose items that you can get and I just thought they all match together because of all these animal prints for the lip, I am using this 4 store Silent Prophecy matte lipstick I just love how it gives the outfit a bit of sophistication <laughs> And for the contact lens, I chose the Molten Gold Trap because it makes her look like a cat. For the eyeliner, I'm using one of my all-time favorites, Mocha Syrup, because it gives a little bit of a smudged effect. And for the eyeshadow, I'm using Sun and Cloud. And then for the eyelashes, it's also one of my favorites, Dappled Forest. It's cute but also very chic. At the same time, I think the makeup made a whole lot of a difference, so I really love this one so much. Okay, so here's our first styling, the dreamy bunny. So for this one, I kept everything in the set except for the stockings. I wanted to keep that part simple because I feel there's a lot going on in her dress already. Yeah, so I really wanted to do something that is sweet and pastel -y because you guys know pastels are one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so for the dress, I dyed it in shades of pink, purple, a bit of coral from the palettes 1, 2, 8, and 11. And then I dyed the bunny in the bucket, purple and pink as well. Oh, look at the bunny. This is Super cute, this bunny. Yeah, and then I also dyed the bunny ears in purple and pink. Same thing for the earrings also dyed them in shades of pink and purple and I love how the insides are a little bit lime green now one thing I noticed when dyeing is that the insides of the bunny ears cannot be dyed oh my gosh look at all the details I love the pink and purple petals and all these bunnies and whoa the bouquet of flowers and I love how there are also butterflies just fluttering from the skirt if you guys want to watch me pull for the set as well as all the items in the garden cutie light chase don't forget to check out my gotcha video I'll put that in the video description below for her makeup I put a lot of pink eyeshadow and some facial paint to make her look sparkly and then I also use one of my all-time favorite eyelashes far north compass it's a four star but it's so gorgeous I love that some parts are long some parts are shorter. Overall, I just love this look because it's so sweet and pastel It makes me feel like I'm in a garden with this cute bunny <laughs> and these bunnies that are kissing Aww. on her dress. I just love how this one turned out. Okay, my second styling, the mysterious bunny. So for this one, I dyed her dress in shades of black, white, and green, and I used the palettes 13, 15, and 16. So I really wanted to play around with these three colors and I love how the result looks. I wanted something mysterious but still elegant. I also changed her hairstyle to this one from the Fashion Battle Shop. I love how there's a little bit of a braid 
dangling from the back. I also included these four star ribbons that you can get if you evolve SR Larry's each night from Garden Cutie Light Chase. I love it, it's oversized and comes in black. I think it just gives it a bit of an interesting and elegant touch. I also changed the stockings because I feel the bunny one has too much going on. These shoes are actually a four star shoes that I got from a free event in the game. I love that it's super high. <laughs> not the most practical shoes to wear in real life but you know that's what my makeup wear is for you can wear like super high heels and not worry about spraining your ankle <laughs> yeah so i love it and i like how it's very plain and solid looking so that it contrasts well with the rest of the outfit i also love this handheld that looks like it has a mini forest inside a glass casing it has some petals some leaves and I felt that it goes well with the colorless scheme. Overall, I thought this gives it a darker and mysterious vibe and I really like how it turned out. My third styling, baby bunny. So this one I find super cute. I wanted to play around again with pastel colors but this time around in coral. So for her hairstyle, I chose this one that is from one of the fashion code outfits. I chose it because it has a double ponytail that makes it look very childlike and innocent. So I thought it goes well with this look. I gave her this sugar rabbit handheld that was also from the recent light chase. I love that it's also bunny themed. This time around I kept her shoes as well as the stockings from the original set. But I dyed them in shades of white and coral. Look at the bunnies. The left one still looked sleepy. For her makeup, I kept it simple. I gave her a white eye look and then one of my favorite lipsticks as well. This one is Caramel Clouds, which has a little bit of a sparkle in the middle. I love that. So overall, I thought this look was very sweet and definitely my favorite looks in terms of pastel color. Ooh, I just noticed that this dress has the word Vanna on it. <laughs> There's a signature near the hem of the skirt. That's so interesting. Okay, so my final and most favorite look from today is the Romantic Bunny. I love this one so much, you guys. I spent quite a lot of time on this as well because I was just choosing the best color combination to dye this dress and this is my absolute favorite. So first of all, let's look at the colors of this dress. I dyed them in shades of black, pink, and red using palettes from number 8, 11, 14, and 16. For the hair, I changed it out to this 5-star one that you can get from the Fashion Battle Show. I love this hairstyle because it's super sleek and goes with a lot of clothes. The head I love as well and it's from the Rose Nick set which is another limited light chase. I dyed it a little bit darker and then I included these earrings as well and then these ribbons. <laughs> they almost look like they're part of the same set, right? But actually, they're all from different sets. Shoes as well. These are actually a free pair of shoes from a signing event in Light Makeover. The thing is I dyed them in shades of red and black. I love that it's asymmetric. So this iridescent effect on the ribbons actually came from dyeing a lot of the parts black. I noticed this happens to a lot of outfits. And also the bloomers came a little bit shimmery and shiny after I dyed them in black. So I thought it just contrasts well with the pale dye on top. So I love this look because I think it gives off a lot of things. You know, a little bit of mysterious vibes, a bit of prettiness, a bit of sexiness, and a bit of elegance, and even a little bit gothic, right? I feel like it's like a lot going on, but still very cohesive. So I love it so much, and I'm very happy with the styling. I really like the last one Wu 
Okay, so that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section below which was your favorite styling from today. 那你们今天最喜欢的造型是哪一个呢？你可以留言一下跟我说。Also, if you guys missed my community posts on my channel, I mentioned that I'll be doing a series of special one-year anniversary videos on my makeover because it's been almost one year since I started playing and creating videos. So. I will have a lot of new ideas coming, up, which includes a wardrobe tour and ranking some of my favorite six stars, five stars, and also some themed videos. For example, like a Disney collection. It's very exciting, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. All right, so I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you're pulling for light days, I wish you the best of luck. See you next time. Bye bye.